Hey guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week four of the NPCC. This week we're up against Jerry Oak, the manager of the LA Landorus. Now, last week obviously didn't go to plan, I uploaded the video uh, a little earlier today. Uh, spoilers, I get absolutely wiped to the floor by a Sword Stance Bishop and get 6 0 So, this week had to be the week where I get back on my feet and I beat someone who's good, who's been doing really well so far this season. Um, I can't remember if they're, I'm pretty sure they're either 2 for 1 or 3 for 0. I think it's 2 for 1. The LA Landorus. So, um, this is an opportunity to prove myself and my team. Quick overview of the team, I've got Wise Glasses, uh, Offensive, Jolteon, Mixed Manaphy with Knockoff U-Turn Scald, Energy Ball, AV, Metagro, Specially Defensive, uh, Skarmory, Physically Defensive with some Special Defensive Bulk in Entei, and Physical Mega Sceptile. So, you saw my opponent's team there, let's just get into this and see how well we got on. In-game music today, because one, I forgot to turn it off, and two, it's cool anyway, because the rival's theme is cooler than ours. So I lead off with Jolteon, he leads off with uh, Helisk. I debated what to lead off with really uh, for quite a while. I think that's about 10 seconds left in the timer once I decided my team lineup. Make a really bad misplay at the start. I don't know why I clicked Shadow Ball. At the time I thought it'd be a clever idea. I wanted to scout if this thing was Choice Scarfed. Even if he was Choice Scarfed, he couldn't click Volt Switch to get momentum because I have Volt Absorb. So Bad play on my half. Now I'm forced to go into Metagross. This thing is one of two answers to Mega Gardevoir, because Mega Gardevoir just poops on my team like it poops on any ordinary team. If you're not prepared, you're not prepared, and you lose. So I take the Hype Voice really well. Now I'm expecting to either go for Dark Pulse to kill off my Jolteon, uh, or click an Electric Move. Uh, and Volt Switch seems like a good idea for him at this point, so I'm going to go back into Jolteon, make the aggressive play, and get the uh, HP back. So now I'm going to click Volt Switch, obviously because this thing doesn't absorb electric moves. That does decent damage considering how bulky Heliolisk is on the specially defensive side. Its HP stat isn't much, but it's still something. So I'm going to go into Entei and quickly my Mega Gardevoir checks are just uh, getting weakened um, because he does go for the Hyper Voice here. There's not really much else he should go for. Hyper Voice is a great move. Nothing resists stat uh, normal type apart from rock and steel and ghost is immune so I haven't got any of them uh, on my team this week so apart well actually that's a lie I have Metagross and Skarmory but otherwise he can just uh, do damage and that's why I love Helios so much anyway I've, I've licked that thing's balls long enough in comes Marshall I click protect bit of a stupid play I did expect him to go into this thing or Gliscor and honestly Will-O-Wisp would have been the best play there because if I could have burned the Gliscor before it got its toxic orb heal off um, assuming that's what set it is, it could obviously be the non-toxic orb one because he might be running defog on it. Otherwise, he didn't have any hazard removal, and I sort of realised that, so I thought I'm going to get my rocks up at some point. I need to. Um, I'm obviously not going to keep Entei in against uh, Quagsire because both its stabs will do good damage to me. Won't kill me, I imagine, because I am bulky and it's a Quagsire. But Manaphy is a pretty safe switch. Now I am a hasty nature on this thing because I'm mixed offense, so uh, Earthquake will do quite a lot, but he doesn't know that, and he'll expect me to have the energy ball. Which I do have, but I'm going to bluff. Well, I'm not going to bluff. I'm going to make a play here and click knock off. He's probably going to bring in the Mega Gardevoir anyway, because it deals with Manaphy pretty well. Um, but I'm just going to pretend that I don't have the Energy Ball. Because, honestly, I have Sceptile, and I could easily be running Hidden Power Grass and anything. And Grass, not Metagross. So, he might think I'm not running it. So, I go for the knock off. This is uh, just for investment in attack with a neutral nature. So... Decent damage, I guess, for a neutral hit. It is a mana fee. It's designed, I mean, it's base 100 across the board, but I think it's moveable. Definitely leans it towards a, a special uh, monster, especially with Scald and uh, Ice Beam and Energy Ball. But I do have U Turn as well, and I know that because the way Mega Revolution works, he's not going to have his speed stat of his Mega yet. He is going to have his speed stat of his original Gardevoir, which means I will outspeed because I am max speed mana fee to run the speed tie with Jirachi, but Jirachi could well be scarfed at this point, so. Skarmory um, takes this thing on pretty well, uh, apart from if he has Thunderbolt. Um, so I take that Shadow Ball really well. Uh, he's going to be scared here. I don't think Thunderbolt would take me out. I don't actually know. I never did the Calc in-game or now. So uh, I expected it to probably live, I reckon. But I do decide to switch because I want to scout for the Thunderbolt anyway. And um, if I can do that, I don't mind losing Jolteon at this point because it doesn't do anything for me. Or so I thought anyway. Um, so I bring in Jolteon to take and a Thunderbolt if he does do it, but he decides to bring in his Pyroar, and that's going to force him to switch out again. Now I did uh, get 
happy, a bit happy clicking here and click default switch when I need to remember he has two ground types in his team. Uh, the reason I bought Jolty on this week is because it's fast. <laughs> that is simply the reason why I bought it. I, I mean, Electric does okay against his team. Um, but Jolteon's just a nice thing to have on my team anyway. So in comes Skarmory. This thing really can't touch me that hard. Uh, I'm, I'm immune to Earthquake. He is slower than me though, so if I do roost up, obviously he can Earthquake me. He's going to go for the Scald. I get my rocks up. He can't get rid of them. That's fine. Pyro is going to be wearing itself down. Heliolisk with the Life Orb is going to be wearing itself down really quickly. Jirachi, if it's Scarfed, is going to have to keep switching up moves. So that's switching in now. I know Stealth Rock doesn't do much to it, but that's extra damage that I, I'm happy with getting. So we just get the school burn, unfortunately, but that's to be expected at least once in a battle. I'm going to roost here. I'm just going to quickly scout and see what he wants to do. Um, I could have probably made the switch into Manaphy here, but he does click school, and after the roost, leftovers and burn, I end up with a fair little amount uh, more HP than I did uh, at the start of the turn. So kind of scouting, kind of trying to get Skarmory in as good shape as possible, because if there isn't Thunderbolt or Mega Gardevoir, Skarmory can take it on pretty well. So in comes Little Blue, it's pretty much, uh, it's such a safe switch into this thing. Uh, he does go for the Scald, and this thing is Toxic Scald, Earthquake, I expect it has Recover as well. To be honest, I was quite uh, surprised to see this thing. I bought Energy Ball mainly. I mean, obviously he has this in his team, but he also has a Suicune. I almost put Ice Beam on it. I, I'm so glad I didn't in the end. I was going to change it to Ice Beam in the last second, because Gliscor was way scarier than this thing. But he does withdraw. I expect him to switch. I'm not going to have a click in uh, knockoff this time. I really, really wish I had, or even click school, because I would have just killed this thing really quick. Um, so he's quite lucky that I didn't click knockoff there, because that thing, uh, Gliscor wouldn't be able to heal up, uh, other than Roost if it has it. Um, but I don't think it actually gets revealed in this match to me or not. So I'm bringing in Jolteon, and he must know the way I brought Jolteon in. He must know that I've been Power Ice, and he also hasn't seen me like get leftovers or life orbs, so he might think I'm choice in some way. I'm not I'm wise glasses to bluff it. In comes the Jirachi, um, and I click Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I had to reveal I had it, um, and it only does a little bit of damage, but that damage does reveal to me he's a more offensive Jirachi now. I didn't really want to mess around here. I could have probably gone into Metagross um, quite safely, actually, but I wanted to see if this thing was Scar. And I find out this thing is scarfed. So, that means uh, I have to be wary of Ice Punch. It's my physically defensive uh, Entei. He has less switch-ins for Entei than he does uh, Metagross. So, I kind of figured that'd be the best thing for now. In comes the Quagsire. I do predict this, I believe. I believe I go for the Will-O-Wisp. And, of course, I miss. So, he's got two school burns. And I've missed my Will-O-Wisp. And at this point in the battle, I'm just kind of sitting there, head just dropped. And I'm like, I played like shit last week, and now when I'm actually playing okay, Hax is trying to screw me over. So he switches out from Quagsire here. And he goes into Gliscor. I'm not quite sure what he was expecting. Because honestly, my... I mean, I clicked Protect, so I want to see what he wanted to go for. But I could have quite easily switched into uh, Manaphy. He's seen me switch into Manaphy on his Quagsire twice. Manaphy beats this thing easy. Uh, I know I'm minus defense nature, but I, I don't have Ice Beam, but Scald will 2 hit KO. I think this thing is like mixed defense, if anything, specially defensive. So pretty sure Scald will still be a 2 hit KO. Um, but he does set up the Sword Stance, which is obviously scary. Gliscor, I mean, my team I bought this week is just weak to ground in general. Um, he can't really touch Skarmory though, and it, it's a setup opportunity for Sceptile later on. So I need to keep this thing around. I want to keep Gliscor around. Obviously, I can't kill it because I'm a burnt Skarmory. But this week, I learned from last week. I didn't change my mind at the last second. I bought Whirlwind, and that is now a. Um, well, that was a useless turn of setup, basically. He managed to knock off my Skarmory. Um, but now he does get the Mega Guard of Wobble in, which is kind of like, oh. Well, that's a bit unfortunate. I'm just going to let this thing die. I'm going to try and scout out and see if it has a Thunderbolt. But he does click Hyper Voice. It is enough to actually kill me from that range. Because um, it's a Mega Gardevoir. So, Skarmory goes down, but it's done its job perfectly. It's phased out that Gliscor. I know it has Sword Stance now. I won't get caught out by it. I have my rocks up. He can't get rid of them. Pyro's going to be less of a problem. In comes the main thing of... Well, the, this guy ran the show this week. Mega Sceptile, I'm going to click Earthquake, because um, I've done the calc, Earthquake kills if it's just like the normal offensive Mega Gardevoir. 
which I'm assuming he is at this point. Uh, it's risky because this thing is my one of my win conditions, so that was a very risky play. Now, I expect the Gliscor to come in. I'm going to click Leaf Blade, and it does about half. Um, that's about Sword Stance. If I had clicked Sword Stance on that switch there, there's a very good chance this thing would have died, especially considering Leaf Blade has a high critical hit chance. So, Leaf Blade could have killed this turn if he got a critical hit, so he decides to switch out. I'm not sure if he was... I'm not sure what he's doing here. I'm not sure if he's just sacking off the guard war at this point. Because it can't really do too much. Because it's outsped by this. It's outsped by... Uh... Joint on Actually, it's only spared, outsped by this. And I have Bullet Punch on Metagross. But I do click Swords Dance on that turn. Because I figured... Oh, I took the risk. Gliscor hasn't revealed Ice Fang to me yet. He's got Swords Dance. He'll have Knock Off. He has Earthquake. Could have had Ice Fang. Probably had Roost or Tailwind. Or Baton Pass, actually. But... Um, I do get to plus two. It's kind of in vain, really. Um, it didn't really actually make a difference. Um, apart from I could have taken out the uh, Gliscor if he did decide to stay in. But the way he bought in Jirachi confirms to me that he is Scarfed and that he's going to have Ice Punch. Why wouldn't he have Ice Punch? But I have a physically defensive Entei. And I don't get froze, unfortunately. I mean, it, it doesn't matter that I didn't anyway, because I have Sacred Fire. Pretty sure it defro uh, falls you out anyway. So. I am currently losing in terms of uh, Pokemon that have died at this point. In comes the Quagsire. I'm pretty sure I predict this this time. And goes straight into Manaphy without having to take an Earthquake or a Scald, which is lovely. Now, he still doesn't know if I have Energy Ball. I've hidden it quite well, I think. Uh, I'm going to click Knock Off this turn because his dead Pokemon is his Mega. So if he wants to switch, something gets knocked off. Uh, if he wants to stay in, his leftovers get knocked off. So. I'm going to click Knock Off because I honestly expect him to still think I have Energy Ball. Spoilers, which I do. Uh, I'm going to click Knock Off just in case he also wanted to go into the Jirachi to uh, swap up uh, moves because it resists Energy Ball and it, it would do like no damage. So he goes to the Scald. Not entirely sure why he went for the Scald and not the Earthquake. Earthquake would have done a lot more. Um, but he clicked Scald. That's absolutely fine. So now I'm just going to I'm just saying fuck it. I'm going to click Energy Ball. He wants to switch in Jirachi or Gliscor. Even Pyro, it's going to take it. It's not going to like it. Um, and it gets rocks damage if he switches as well. So, fortunately, Quagsire dies. So now, Manaphy is uh, it's still important because I need it for the Gliscor. Um, I do have Ice Punch on Metagross, but I don't know if it's an offensive Gliscor yet. So I kind of need to keep it around because I'll probably get out of bed by it. In comes Helios. I know that I should probably save Mana for now. Metagross is my most expendable mon at this time. Plus I'm Assault Vest and he's going to go for Hyper Voice here because he expected me to switch into my Sceptile. I ain't about that life, boy. Um, I do go into this thing and Bullet Punch probably wouldn't kill. I didn't actually count. It might have because Helios is frail. Um, but I do make the prediction to go for Ice Punch. Ice Punch would have killed Helios at that point. Absolutely fine. And, of course, I hit because it's 100% accurate, and that is a dead Gliscor. No matter how defensive it is, it's a dead Gliscor. And that just makes things so much easier. The rest of his team is weak to ground. Now, I know he has Scarfed Jirachi still, but Pyro, that well, it makes me think Pyro won't be Scarfed. And I know Heliosk isn't, that's Life Orb. So, I'm going to decide to sack Metagross off here. I probably should have clicked Bullet Punch just for damage, but just in the off chance he ever predicted there. Expecting me to switch into Manaphy and went for Hyper Voice again. I did st decide to stay in. I didn't need it. And I do find out he's Life Orb, which means I can now switch into my Sceptile. And now Sceptile gets a kill, pretty much, because uh, Earthquake kills whatever he has left. Uh, I'm not sure if Jirachi would actually die, but it wouldn't like it, that's for sure. Um, so down goes the Pyro. Now all he has left is Jirachi at roughly two thirds of its health. And a Heliolisk, which is pretty much on the brink of death because of Life Orb. So I'm going to keep this thing because it outspeeds Heliolisk. Um, I don't need Manaphy anymore at this point because he has this thing, which might have Thunder Punch or Thunderbolt. And he has Heliolisk, which outspeeds me. So I'm going to sack this thing off. I was just kind of hoping, you know, maybe I'll be able to take two. I am the minus defense nature, so I, unfortunately I can't. Plus with the burn, it meant I was going to die pretty quickly anyway. Um... So he does kill with two Zen Headbutts. He lands both his Zen Headbutts, of course. Why wouldn't he? He's a Jirachi. Um, but man, if he goes down, that's fine. I needed the free switch into Entei. And Entei just kind of wins the game itself here. Because Sacred Fire kills both his Mons. Um, 
I've revealed protect. I actually have snarl on this thing. It was kind of like filler. I couldn't have extreme speed because I'm a bold nature. If you want extreme speed, you have to be an adamant nature. So I click sacred fire. He goes into this thing. Uh, not entirely sure why. I mean, it couldn't really do anything else at this point. I mean, it could have made it a 1 0 if it had surf. Um, but he does just dice that. And now all he has left is Jirachi. I have a defensive Entei and a. Uh, just a Mega Sceptile, really, at full health. So, the way he can win this now is flinching. He can't lock himself a nice punch because that will do literally nothing to me. He has to go for Zen Headbutt. That's his best middle ground. And I don't get flinched. Thank the Lord Jesus I did not get flinched. First turn as well. I mean, I would have probably still won this. I do have Protect, so I can get my leftovers to get him back up. Um, but the game didn't last anywhere near as long as it could have. I didn't get flinched first turn. And that was absolutely glorious. So, great game, uh, Jerry. I really enjoyed that, to be honest, especially after last week when it was quite a shambles. Um, we're now 2-2 two and two this uh, season. Hopefully, that means we can get the season rolling properly now. Next week, we have... I can't remember who it is, but it's a cross-division game. So, I'm in the Sun Division. There is a Moon Division as well in the NPCC, and I'm playing someone from that division. Uh, next week, I can't remember what they're called. I want to say it's LA. It's LA something. It's another LA team. I'm not entirely sure what, but it's an LA something. So make sure you guys uh, leave a like if you did enjoy this video. Leave a comment on how you thought the battle went. If it was a lot better than last time. If there was a, if there wasn't enough uh, crawling in my hill zone this time. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll, if I get six out, I promise I'll put it in there again. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy it. Leave me some comments and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you later. Bye.